2022 may go down as the year when the world began to take the economic consequences of climate change seriously. In this video, I will examine some cases that illustrate the economic impact that climate change is having. Climate change does not cause hurricanes, but it contributes to the damage caused by them in, in important ways. First, rising global temperatures increase ocean temperatures. This in turn increases the intensity of hurricanes and tropical storms. For example, owing to the high temperature of water in the Gulf of Mexico, Hurricane Ian intensified rapidly as it approached landfall on the southwest coast of Florida. As it made landfall, Ian was a Category 4 hurricane and its wind speeds were just slightly under Category 5 level. Climate change also is causing sea level rise. For example, at Naples, Florida, the sea level has risen more than a foot in the last 50 years. The combination of increased storm intensity and sea level rise contributed to a catastrophic storm surge when Hurricane Ian made landfall. In some southwest Florida locations, the storm surge reached record heights, leading to an incredible amount of damage. Many structures were destroyed by the combination of wind and storm surge, while many other structures were flooded by the storm surge and incurred major water damage. Climate change also makes storms wetter, and as a result, they produce more precipitation. Scientists have estimated that the rainfall accompanying Hurricane Ian was increased by at least 10% because of climate change. This contributed to flood damage in many inland areas. In fact, flooding in some Florida locations was still a problem two weeks after the hurricane made landfall. The economic impact from Hurricane Ian is enormous, well into the hundreds of billions of dollars, and very little of it covered by insurance. So homeowners and businesses that incurred wind and water damage from the hurricane stand to suffer greatly. Climate change contributed to that damage and economic suffering by increasing the intensity of the storm, by increasing the height of the storm surge, and by increasing the amount of rainfall dropped by the storm. This picture shows the extremely low water levels on the exposed bed of the Rialb Reservoir in La Baronia de Rialb, Spain on Tuesday, August 23, 2022. This summer and fall, Europe has been in the grip of extreme drought and heat. The current European drought is the worst in at least the past 500 years. The combination of severe drought and heat waves has created an unprecedented stress on water levels in the entire European Union, according to European Innovation Commissioner Maria Gabriel. She noted that the European wildfire season was much above normal and that there has been an important impact on agricultural production. Water and heat stress have slashed Europe's 2022 crop yields with forecasts for grain, maize, soybean, and sunflowers expected to be 16%, 15%, and 12% below the average of the previous five years, re respectively. This is yet another example of economic damage from climate change. Europe is not the only region currently experiencing extreme drought conditions. A large part of the United States is also is experiencing major drought conditions, and the southwest part of the United States remains in the midst of a 22-year-long mega drought. These drought conditions are having an impact on both shipping and on agriculture. The drought in the United States Midwest has led to low water levels on parts of the Mississippi River, 
Recently, barge traffic on the Mississippi had to be halted near Memphis and Vicksburg. As a result, 144 vessels and 2,253 barges were idled for several days. When river traffic resumed, barges were, were required to carry 20% less weight, and the number of barges that could be moved by one vessel was reduced from 50 to 25 in order to cope with the shallow and narrow barge channel. Because of these restrictions, shipping rates have skyrocketed. This is having a major economic impact because many agricultural commodities are shipped primarily by barge here in the United States. The economic impact of the mega drought in the southwestern part of the United States on agriculture has been both ongoing and severe as water shortages in the region continue to worsen. The data in this chart are from a report prepared by the University of California Merced researchers on the economic impact of the climate change driven mega drought on California agriculture. The chart shows gross revenue losses for irrigated crops in California for 2021 owing to reductions in water deliveries. These amount to just under a billion dollars. If you add to this the impact of economic losses on workers who lost jobs and businesses serving farmers that lost business, the total economic impact during 2021 in California alone was well over a billion dollars. 2022 water deliveries for agriculture have been as bad or worse than 2021, so the economic impacts continue. Note that while these data are for California, similar impacts are being felt by agricultural interests in several other southwestern states. The examples that I've shown provide strong evidence that the economic impacts of climate change are significant. If you have any questions, please add them to the comment section and I'll do my best to answer them. I've also provided a link to some of my other climate videos below. And if you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, I would appreciate it greatly if you would subscribe. Thanks for watching and please share this video.